come back and look at the rooms. But let's just check. Like Holy cow. Right here. Look at that. So the views in this Hi, good afternoon. I'm here with Steve Sterling. Hey there, how you guys doing? And we are in front of the Nexus building downtown. And I'm gonna give you a great shot of how cool the building is from the outside. And then we're gonna go inside and do um, some tour of the unit and some of the amazing amenities that they have here. And for those of you who don't come downtown too often, uh, you won't recognize where you are necessarily, but we're on the corner of Minor and Powell, uh, where the world famous corned beef place is right across the street. And I'll give you a little shot of that. Just to give you, there's there it is. Everybody knows that and the rebar <laughs> and creme brie. There you go. So here we are. Ignore. I feel like I'm in downtown Manhattan right now, I just want to say. But okay, here we go. Let's take a look at the super cool building. It goes so all the, the way up. The floors are offset every 10 floors, so it creates decks at each of those cube sections. Hope you guys heard that. And let's go take a look at the inside. So here we are, unit 2505 here at the Nexus. I'm gonna get a nice shot as we enter. Let's see. And this is a really beautiful, spacious entryway here to this corner unit on the 25th floor. Wow, Faces corner unit. Northwest facing. Okay, so a nice little corner as you walk in here. Plenty of space with a closet. And that's and also then, laundry. Oh, and laundry's right in there. Let's check it out. Oh, perfect. Yeah, all the design is really thoughtfully spaced oh, wow. for maximum efficiency. We'll come back and look at the rooms, but let's just check the whole shot is right here. Look at that. So the views in this particular unit are really unique in that, number one, we're a corner unit. Uh, we have what I believe for the time being are protected views of both the Space Needle and Queen Anne and then from here, just a couple feet over, is just uh, a gargantuan view of Lake, Lake Union, Union. Wow. And all the way up to the University of Washington. Oh my gosh. Let's take, you can see Gasworks Park. Yep. Anyone like the movie 10 Things I Hate About You? Ever seen that? I didn't see that. Oh, Steve. Is it about Gasworks? No, but there's, they have a paintball scene oh. at Gasworks. And as oh. a, like, I'm sure kids worldwide are like, I'm going to Seattle to paintball at Gasworks. As we all know, that doesn't exist. But let's check out these views and come back because I think I missed part of it with the angle. So here we are. Facing west. And so Facing we're also west. looking at this construction here is the new convention center. Oh, wow. Which is going to be super slick looking building. You really are in like the heart of downtown here. Yeah. But not like too much downtown. And then this building here is another new 40 story building called the Connect. And they're only allowing two 40 story buildings per block and they have to be spaced diagonally from one another. So one thing we're pleased to see is that construction has already started here to the due north. Mm -hmm. So we know the height of these buildings. One of them will be uh, one of the tall ones. So we'll lose some views of Queen Anne but we will not lose our views of South Lake Union, Lake Union, and then off to the Olympics and the Space Needle. That is beautiful. And there's a new, what's it called? Climate, oh my God, what's the name of the new arena? Climate. Oh, climate, I just know Something climate. <laughs> oh, I was gonna go with Key Arena, but yeah. Coliseum will work. Too. I don't think I've been there since it was the Coliseum. Oh, it's very nice, but now it's gonna be all brand new. That's a beautiful view. I'm sure you can watch seaplanes coming in and out. Fireworks, 4th of July, you probably have a great view yeah. of the fireworks. And there's some beautiful art. This is actually the Seattle City Light substation down here. Oh, wow. With this crazy stainless fence. Mm -hmm. And they've just tastefully covered everything. So instead of looking at elect electrical connectors and whatnot, they've got some nice art there. And you can see there's actually a dog park off to the left of it as well. Oh, how much fun! For a little fur baby. Don't need to go that far because there is a dog park in this building. Oh, that I will show you really? Shortly. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so let's take a look at. So aside from the view, which definitely sells it for me. Yeah. So this <laughs> kitchen is really fabulous. Uh, my cellar upgraded um, to the marble countertops and a better cabinetry, and everything is tucked in. And oh works. wow! So you've got a microwave. Look at these little. Oh, the how beautiful is that? So everything's hidden. Everything's hidden, including the fridge. <laughs> I love with that. With my latte 
and freezer. And freezer down there. Oh, great. So tons of storage, and obviously every direction you're cooking, you have a view. You've got a view. And also, just in terms of layout, there's a lot of room for creativity here. Mm -hmm. My seller set it up so that this is more kind of a living room, media room with dining over in the corner, but it certainly could be reversed. Oh, I really like this. It's so pretty. I feel like I'm in a um, like a cool hotel downtown. It is when you very wake up and you just see, view. it's very posh. View. The other thing is to actually have opening windows. Oh wow! To so you can get fresh air. Fresh air in is unique in some of these skyscrapers. Mm -hmm. And is there like a storage unit elsewhere in the there, building? Yeah, I'll show you. There's a storage and parking. Okay. And the nice thing is the storage door is literally right next to the end parking space that this that is, goes with this unit. Okay, so let's go see. So here we are. This is like the main living area. Just a yeah. reminder, there's your view. Kitchen, this could be dining room, media area, relaxation. Okay. Bathroom is beautiful, marble floors, deep soaking tub. Again, that same cabinetry and nice white marble. It is really pretty. Really nicely done. The vanity light is great. It's integral mm -hmm. to the mirror there, so. I like that, see that? And here's the great bedroom. Bedroom with views of Lake Union. So this is what you wake up and look at. Fits a queen bed with still with room for some shelving. And then we've got a full size closet. So certainly you could do um, a dresser in the closet as well as have some room for hanging. Okay. Check out the cowboy. When I see my seller left his boot collection here. <laughs> Love it. Are these his, his collection too? This is his art collection. Wow. Well. Yeah. This is some cool stuff. He is quite the collector. I love it. This is great. So nice and spacious. Really? And you create privacy? Yeah, so given our relatively small square footage, it feels because of these nearly floor ceiling windows, it just feels super spacious. And we yeah. get a great light, you know, even in the morning, indirect light coming from the north is fabulous. It really is amazing. And that view of the Space Needle and Elliot Bay. It's funny, each time I come here to water the plants, I just find myself sitting down <laughs> in one of these chairs and just turning towards the window and just zone it out for a while. It's a yeah. pretty, pretty special spot. I would do that for sure. And you can see the EMP, if everyone knows what that yep. is. Yeah. And right. again, I think, oh, so this uh, building directly in front of the Space Needle here is mm -hmm. just completing construction. And then we'll have a 20-story building just beyond that. So for the time being, in the near future here, oh, you can see the portafiles. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> Are you wondering how they get them off the building? <laughs> now we all know. Are they going to crash? That is not what you want to be standing under that as they come hilarious. down. <laughs> I've never seen that three at a time. I know. <laughs> and oh my. Tankers come in and the there you go. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> okay. So one of the best things about the Nexus are the amenities. And here we are on the seventh floor. This is called the podium club. And so these rooms here, while they're partially closed in terms of hanging out, mm -hmm. these are amazing workspaces. So people oh, wow. will come in and you have views and a deck out here. Um, so lots of common areas. And then people can also uh, reserve rooms. So they oh. have these private rooms here along to work well, from. So you can sign up and do, complete your work. So even though the units are relatively small, with all these common area spaces, it really feels like you have a lot options. of space. And there's tons of, of common outdoor areas as well. Oh, wow. This is really cool. But one of my favorite things Ooh, about see. this floor. <laughs> as a dog owner. Ah, uh, here we go. And there's a fitness. There is a gym. Oh, there's a gym here yeah, on the floor, too. Yeah, it's uh, fitness equipment. This is also currently during COVID. You could, it's, it is open. You just have to sign up for. Uh, it's like going to the gym. Research ships, and mm -hmm. then they just have individual uh, equipment that is open for folks, so to keep to uh, honor the social distancing. That's smart. Wear a mask. Brilliant. But since we're in Seattle, oh, well, let's go see what we have for the fur babies. You people who are dog lovers in this city. Oh wow! Welcome to the dog lounge. No way. So I wish there were dogs. It's a washable floor. How cool is this? 
So this is like an indoor play. Oh my God, they have. Indoor play area. And. uh, I just want to show you, this would be my dream. This is the dog grooming and washing station. How cool is that? Yeah. Oh, and a dryer. This is awesome. I haven't met any dogs in here the few times I've seen it. (laughs) So. It's at your disposal, and then even though we're on the seventh floor of this skyscraper, there is an outdoor dog. And there's a deodorizer button. I just want to show you so if it smells too much like dog. And they have staff that come and spray the AstroTurf wow. each day. And here we are with views of downtown Seattle from your private dog lounge. This is amazing. So we were looking at that dog park a couple of blocks away, but you really don't need to leave the building. Yeah. Very cool. And it's covered. So in the winter, you won't get all wet. Oh, you still get some fresh air. Fresh air. Oh, how brilliant. Yeah. Oh, really smart. So then our next stop is going to be the real wow factor with the rooftop deck. Oh, excited. Also secure. I just want to point out, it's secure to get in and out. Yeah, so other than going to the lobby, the only access I have is to our own residence floor and then to the two common area levels. To the two common, okay. So we'll go to the sky floor here. Where are we going? To see. We're going to see. Now you're just walking with us to the elevator. Really nice elevators here. Okay. It's absolutely amazing. Here comes the wow um, factor. To the 40th floor. Oh my god. Is that real grass? That is real grass. No way! I know I sound like a country bumpkin, but... Wow! We both grew up in Seattle. I don't think I ever had this view. Other than no. To the space needle. Yeah, when you go to the space needle or Cary Park, but even that, you're not gonna. So, and on clear nights, you get killer sunsets. And oh, the clouds are beautiful. out today, but the Olympics are in full view across the there. Look at this. You can see south. Yep. Same thing going south. Mount Rainier, just behind the Madison Tower there. Oh wow. I'm gonna walk this way. I'll be honest. I'm a little scared of heights, yeah. but. <laughs> So the truth. We're going to all these common areas. You can just come. There's a like six barbecues out here. Oh my so gosh! It's really set up, and then they've got some amazing inside spaces for entertaining as well. So again, you don't have to have the dinner party necessarily in your own unit. You can it's have really a spread party out here and really wow your friends and see all the way over to Bellevue. These are just. I just want to point. Out, these are like beautiful barbecues. They're nice, really nice amenities up here. You feel like you're on top of the world up here. I know, it's really amazing. And there's Capitol, is that Capitol Hill? It's Capitol Hill. Right it's a there. strange view of Capitol Hill, isn't it? It's not a view I've never seen that. See. No. And then you can see Bellevue off yeah. the distance in the Cascades. Seward Park is down there, South Seattle that way. Really so pretty. And this probably gets a lot of use out here, I would assume. You know, I haven't seen a ton of folks out here yet. I'm usually here during the daytime. Right. So Most people are probably working. The nice thing also is that there are multiple spaces indoors that some are common areas that can be used by everyone at all times. And then there's other areas that you can reserve. So we'll go right around the corner here, and this is one of those spaces. Okay. So we're now headed north, looking off towards... Lake Union and yeah, there you go. Park. I don't know if you can see with the glare of the glass here, but there's a kitchen in here that can be reserved. And it's set up for two parties. So you could have two independent folks. I don't know if people are oh, there we go. Basically having dinner parties in here. Can you it's see this? Really a lovely space. And it also has the huge floor to ceiling windows looking out towards Lake Union. That's great. I love that they account for, you know. Yeah. Oh, there's a TV out here also. You can play music. Surround. Covered space right above us. So we've got basically an outdoor living room here. I mean, it's just the thought of everything for for mild but wet Seattle springs and fall. Seriously. Propane fireplace here. Oh, how beautiful. So nice. Yeah. Take advantage of the sun today. Wow. 
So there are some more indoor spaces. We saw the outdoor. Yeah, and there's really- Oh, amazing. here's the lounge. Is this a lounge we're looking at from? This is, this, yeah, so the Sky Lounge is both a place that you can entertain, and oh, very it's pretty. also a place that you can come work during the day. So nobody's been here currently, but some people come and we'll just spend the morning working. We're now looking northeast. So all these views come <laughs> with your unit. Yeah. And so the HOA is 548 a month. Okay. And it's really, to me, that seems really reasonable given the number of amenities that there are here. And they're all just kept meticulously well. Wow. And let's see. So you have this great room so you can work up here, you can enter you can, Yeah, you can bring food and drinks up here mm -hmm. and just sign up for kitchen usage. And it's really just a super lovely space. How pretty. Nice fireplace. Yeah. This is so pretty. And they've, I noticed they have cleaning supplies everywhere. Yeah. So really to remain. You're doing a great job and you're actually and signing you know, when in. When you utilize the rooms, you're supposed to sign in. So they're great. really just trying to keep things uh, as safe as possible. There's amazing artwork in here. I don't know if you can see this, but this is, okay. these are seashells. I'm sorry, these are, oh, are we recording? Yeah. yeah they're cool looking. They're not seashells, they're oh, balls of yarn. <laughs> to look like seashells. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that amazing? That is cool. I thought they were shells when I first turned. <laughs> they look like seashells. They do. <laughs> and so this library room is another common area that you can sign up for and utilize if you need to have a conference. So I think it's quite in here. And again, huge views. Um, oh. And here's the game room. Oh, fun. So. Oh, again, you can yeah. shuffle the door and a poker table, and you can put use Bluetooth and put whatever you want up on the screen and listen to music, and again, a common kitchen. So, really, this would be a lot spaces. of fun to rent out. Oh, and tic tac toe. This is really nice. Yeah. So gorgeous.